Hi and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you get notified when my next easy way tutorial is out. Hi, in today's video I will be talking about new Windows 2004 update. I know you are all excited and can wait to update to this new version. And I know that some of you are like me. So if I go and check my Windows version. As you see my version is 1909. And when I go to Windows Update. As you see I don't have this new update. And if you googled a little bit, you found this link where you can download and install this update even if you don't have it on your PC. You probably watched a bunch of videos about this, how to update and all cool new features this update brings. But rarely I see any of these videos talking about issues that this update also brings. So if we go on this page. This is Microsoft page with documentation about issues on every update Microsoft release. So as you see we have version 1507 and all the way up to this version 2004 issues. And if we look here we have quite a lot of issues with this update. And if you look under the status here they are all under investigation. So they are not sold yet and that means if you install this update you could have problems with your PC. You can come here and check by yourself, read every issue, see details about every single one. So this is my suggestion. If you go to Windows Update and you see you have a 2004 update ready, do not install it, just wait month or two, uh, wait until Microsoft fix these issues. Just go on this page now and then, uh, I will leave you link in video description down below and check the status of these issues. Uh, this update will not be forced to you uh, from Windows update. You can choose do you want to install it or not. So again my advice to you is wait until these issues are fixed by Microsoft and then go and install it. And this is all known issues but I read that people have even more all kind of issues that are not here on this page. And I came to conclusion that people who have issues that are not in this list are people who forced this update. Meaning that they were on this page and they download this update and install it. So once again my recommendation is if you have it here in Windows Update just don't press download. and. If you don't have it, don't go and download it by yourself. Just wait for these issues to be fixed and then download and install Windows Update 2004. Thank you all for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe with bell notification and I see you in next video. Bye.